Imagine investing time and resources into planting a few fruit trees or a new orchard, only to watch your young trees struggle, their growth stunted, and yields disappointingly low. This scenario is a reality for many growers facing orchard replant disease, or ORD, a complex issue that can persist in soils for decades, threatening the success of new plantings. ORD is particularly prevalent in apple orchards, but also affects stone fruits like peaches, cherries, and plums. The disease manifests when young trees are planted in soils previously occupied by the same or closely related species, leading to reduced vigor and productivity. The primary culprits behind ORD are soil-borne pathogens, including fungi, such as Cylindrocarpon, Phytophthora, Pythium, and Rhizoctonia species. These pathogens attack tree roots, causing poor growth. Parasitic nematodes, such as root lesion and dagger nematodes, in addition to certain bacteria, also contribute to this disease complex. The soil microbiome, the community of microorganisms in the soil, plays a crucial role. Long-term cultivation of the same crop can disrupt this balance, promoting the proliferation of host-specific pathogens and exacerbating ORD. Addressing ORD requires a multifaceted approach, soil fumigation. Traditionally, soil fumigation has been used to reduce pathogen loads. This is not practical for non-commercial project, however, due to environmental concerns and the potential for pathogen resurgence. Its use is becoming more restricted. An organic option would be to use a biofumigant. They are specific plants such as white mustard, oilseed radish, red clover, sorghum sudden grass or organic materials like compost that release natural compounds into the soil to suppress soil-borne pests, pathogens, and weeds. These compounds are typically released when the biofumigant crops are chopped or mowed and incorporated into the soil, triggering their breakdown. These compounds work similarly to synthetic fumigants, but are environmentally friendly and improve soil health. Introducing unrelated crops or leaving the soil fallow for several years can help restore microbial balance and reduce pathogen levels. Depending on the situation, ORD can persist for decades. Incorporating organic matter such as compost or manure can enhance soil health by improving structure, fertility, and microbial diversity. Applying beneficial fungi and bacteria such as Rootwise Microbe Complete or Great White Mycorrhizae can suppress pathogens and promote healthy tree growth. Depending on the number of trees planted, this can become expensive. Another strategy is to choose trees grafted onto disease-resistant or tolerant rootstocks. This is vital for establishing healthy orchards in replant soils. While ORD is commonly associated with apples, stone fruits like peaches can also be affected. Planting peaches in soil previously occupied by apples, may pose fewer challenges than replanting peaches after peaches, but careful soil preparation and management are still essential. Understanding and managing orchard replant disease is essential for the success of new orchards. By implementing integrated strategies that promote soil health and reduce pathogen presence, growers can overcome the challenges of ORD and ensure the vitality of their fruit trees for years to come. Hopefully you won't face this problem, but if you do, there are many organic remedies to try. Thanks for watching. This is Gary. Bye.